And then no. a lot of stuff cancels out. Because in this one, 4, 8, 11, that's 11 factorial divided by... Yeah, I know. Yo. Multinomial expansion? Yeah. When you have more than two variables. I remember doing this much better. Right. Wait, so um, for that, if they weren't all distinct, so like if two were the same, would you put four factorial or would you have to do the Mississippi? Uh, if two were the same, you'd have to do that. Oh, okay. So you'd yeah. five factorial or two factorial. So five factorial, two factorial, one, one, one. Wait, how are two the same? Five factorial over two factorial, one, one, one. The oh. numbers in the bottom have to add up to the Obviously. numerator. That is correct. Yeah, but That's, the That's if you got two of the same yeah, thing, two right. singles. Yeah, we did this as well. He's just referring to why you did this. Why? Yeah. Okay, so with this one, you know, when you do this to simplify it, right, you could cancel, cancel that. That's what I was trying to say. That. And then you end up with five factorial times the four individual divided probabilities five, divided by five. five. And then point zero zero four three seven. Okay. And then it sort of makes sense if you're if I put you inside the circle, if you knew how to count it up, you could you know actually count up events. Four three seven. Yeah. This usually happens like with dice or something like that. What's the probability of getting uh, yeah. Seven. Uh, Wait, listen up. What's the probability of getting a seven when you roll two dice, given that one of the die is a six? You would actually go, instead of doing it this way, it's easier to go into the universe of all sevens and just count the ones that have a six involved. You know, you can have a one six, a two five, three four, four three, five two. Six one. I've now gone into the universe and I've ignored all other rolls. Given that I have a seven, what's the probability I get a six? It's two out of three. Or two out of six. One out of three. So if it was easy to count it, like the student if it's countable, right amount, and then you don't have to do the formula on the sheet. Is that good? That's like the money hall problem. But don't go there. Because well, the one with the three doors. I love two sheets because it's a short block. It's all the three doors. So I think we're going to like seven more minutes. Yeah, yeah. the one with the three doors. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait, I'll just throw them in. Yeah. Or oil them out there. I don't know. I told you. No, it's in the middle. Okay. So, other things that we should look at. <laughs> and we have well, we have time on Monday too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, everyone's going to be here Monday. Yeah, I might. Yeah. 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 I might. Yeah. 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 Or if we you can arrange another time, time. Yeah, so it's yeah. okay. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. you do what you did in the morning. Oh, so yeah. that's right. Dismissed from the school. I'm mocking. I'm mocking. Okay. So okay. Please, 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 it'll be 2.20 on Monday. Uh-huh. 2.20. Well, it's not 2.20. So that's the last lock. The last lock will be the day. That will be this. And you'll go to Mr. Arsenault's room. Okay, because I want to have some time to, you can check in here. I'll send you a bit. Oh, yeah, take care of those kids. Those have to check. Yeah. So, and, you know, just handle the Kyle. No, they need to review. That's yeah. their only review. Well, that's why. Yeah. And I get the same thing with Randy. <laughs> yeah, but they'll be able to. <laughs> I'm such a problem. They'll be able to. Yeah. I think I'm over here. I, I still don't have it. Yeah. I enjoy I looking over my shoulder. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, so, guys. Um, what do we want to do with the last five minutes? Call yeah. it a day. Guys, do you know Euler's method? I don't know. 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 Okay, so real quick. Remember your name, Front page time. questions one and two correspond to answers as written by the IB for one and two. Oh, and nice. then wow. mark scheme instructions in general so when nice. people are directed to mark it. Yeah, you'll never see the mark scheme. You'll just see how many marks they are. But you should read through this this weekend. 
because that often will tell you that there's follow through marks and there's other things. When you have a wrong answer and you follow through with it, they do give you a discounted version, but they do give you some credit. Do we have to know all this? So clarity is huge, huge, huge. Yeah, but we were in the other show. All right. Which do you want to do? Yeah, just wait. You have. Let's go through this by yourselves. <laughs> From before, you had paper three. We gave you the 2006 paper three. Yeah. If you haven't looked at those problems, I mean, you want to look at those. And it was only for section C. Three okay. stats questions. Yeah, there was. Well, you don't do. Yeah, the stats weren't there because we were only doing the sequence, the series stuff. So you do section C series and differential equations. And there was there was one that had a series, and it says is it convergent or divergent. So you have to do that. Uh, yeah, there's Taylor, that Taylor that series that. there. Maybe we should look at that. Yeah. Well, that was, there was not enough time today. Tomorrow, yeah, no, that will be Monday. Okay. Monday, please bring everything. everything. If, you, if you look at the front. Yeah. Guys, if you look at one, two, and three. Okay, back on the three. actual section C. What is it? Not easy. <laughs> no, no, these are easy. You remember? These are easy. Uh, Do you know with Euler's method, you start at the point zero one, right, guys? Can you do it with me while Mr. Arsenal gets the board ready? Number one. Number one, nine marks. Did you get this one? It was one of the three things. How did you? Number one. Did you find it? The Euler's. That's what we're doing. This. Okay, number one, um, they give you the derivative, and the idea is basically that you're sliding down a tangent line, that you're using a tangent line and following that slope to predict the next value. So they start at a point zero, 01, and they're asking you to go up by point fives and approximate what happens when x isn't zero anymore, but it's one. How many times will you have to increase by point five to go from zero to one? Twice. So you're going to do two small, short, easy approximations. Uh -huh. Oh, is this a rectangle thing? Yeah. Oh, I remember Here. that. Yeah, it it's like this is a rectangle slopes. Thing, like approximately. It's just no, add the change every time. No, that's not rectangle. Oh. It's, I don't think it's rectangles. So, and guys, you can be referring we, to the answer on the back because it'll show you exactly what to do. That's right. when we did this. And I don't know if I'm holding IB. Uh, they probably want to see some of this. They just do three times the increment. They look at the slope and they just say three times Point five, no. and add it so to the one, one with already one. Yeah. 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 Take the next point. Oh, okay. It's an algorithm. Okay. So, so you might be able to show it this way. Isn't this also fast? So it is on the back. It's also on the board. But that is also Newton. Newton's is approximating zero. This is always really simple. It's very simple. Newton's is f prime over f. This is f prime times the increment. You can do it. Yeah, I heard. You can do it two ways. This way, or you could set up your oh, table like and show the definition that change in y is dy dx times delta x. Boom. That's it. Then remember, when you give your final answer, you have to say yeah. if you were trying to find f of approximate f of one, it's an approximation. Right. You don't want to say equals because you're not you don't have the actual function. But they'll probably take off if you use an equal sign instead of. They actually wrote y equal. Are you? They have a doubt about it. No, they have it right there. Where? Y is approximately. Oh, they did in there. Yeah. The yeah. in between. Yeah. In between, they did. Yeah. 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 Do you have a cow class that you're reviewing in? <laughs> uh, no, but really. Blocks two and three. We're going through the mod KDP. Sweet. So, you're not going to show us that. And we'll go. And then integrating factors. Um, uh, the integrating factor. The idea, just so we throw this out again? at you and you can look at it a little bit. Are we going to have like real calculus review because calculus is just, yeah, calculus. I'm going to review That's all Monday. Calculus. Yeah. Change. But guys, the cool Unlike thing about the integrating factor, every time calculus. you've done it, Mr. Arsenal, he's setting it up. Can I tell you a little thing? Can I tell you a little thing? Yeah. 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 You a little thing? So on the first one, the, the trick there was to multiply the derivative by the change and just keep doing it. And the second one, every time we've seen it, and I think this is true every time, Mr. Arsenal, um, they give you in part A an integral that you should think about. In part B, this has happened over and over, where they say, choose an integrating factor. But it came after part A. So if you don't multiply by what they give you in part A as your integrating factor, you're probably making a mistake. 
all you're going to be doing in most of these problems is multiplying part B, see what they wrote in part B? Multiply that to create a product rule on the left. On the left, if you multiply this guy correctly by the secant of x, you will find that that becomes the derivative. If you multiply on the left by secant, you get secant dy dx plus y secant tangent. Secant tangent is the derivative of secant. dy dx is the derivative of y. That will be a product rule derivative of y secant x. <coughs> You're undoing no, product rule. Yes. What you're going to do is multiply all the way through so that it becomes a product rule on the left. Multiply by secant. Just pencil it in right now. Secant x, secant x. And you have to do it on the right. Going right oh, on the right, you'll get secant x. I didn't show that one step where you multiply Ooh, through. Yeah. Tangent. Uh -huh. Wait, is this A? Because all I did was just do the derivative on the right side. No, for A, that is smart to take a derivative that is accepted. It says it on the back. Okay, smart so idea. Don't so can I say that it, the right side equals the derivative? But for B, uh, we're suggesting that you multiply right. through by secant everywhere because it creates a product rule on the left and secant squared on the right. No, derivative of Wait, I have a question. Do you think there's more talc on the same thing or more like linear? Well, your special topic is all cal. Your special topic is cal. So yeah. So they will start to come back to you as like you practice, like practice. Like so the, rest of are, the rest are split up by the number of hours. It says usually. I don't know. They think cal is 40 hours. Oh, that's all special. Oh, it depends on the yeah, yeah. number of points. It seems to me like discrete is about a fifth or a quarter. And the lot of the lot is already on there. There's a lot of pre talk on there. They do. They love the rooms It's it's the systems. Okay. They like I gotta go. I gotta yeah, we, we have right, I gotta go. Okay. So please bring everything Monday two twenty, and you go next door. Nobody has to be Oh, I have to be out of the one of the I don't know. Oh, oh my god, I made the best packets because I knew my brother would fail. Oh, oh, so nice. Yeah. Oh, I want more. Can you stop and pray? Hi, Nithya. Hi. Hi. Yeah, yeah. 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 I saw them work out in the gym. Oh. Oh. They did not make Your gym, you guys were like together. We should have matched with freezing cold. Oh, yesterday we had a match. Oh no, we got canceled. I'm not Archana, so we didn't what have that chemistry. What'd you have? The match got canceled. What do you normally play? Six dollars. Oh. oh my god. Was Archana playing <laughs> higher than you? Where are you so It was against Mary and they were so oh, yeah. hard. Like, no, no, remember it got canceled? Oh yeah, it got canceled. <laughs> Hi, Nithya. <laughs> Is it a video? Yeah, I can see myself. Let's go. Oh, Hello. Can we turn it off? I don't know. Okay. Wait, where are we going? What do I do? Is anybody going to pass? Hi, Nithya. I think we're done, but... So do I. What does it say? You're locked, too. Wait, you were locked, too. I'm just telling you. Wait, why are you so many Stop capture. Stop.